Hello everyone, this is the Anime and Manga Club from the Boyd County Library. Today we will be making a felting project with this Totoro kit. Um, we're going to try to follow these instructions the best way we can. Um, I'm not too sure how easy felting can be, but I do see this trending quite a bit within the anime community. They tend to make really cute things out of this wool. So as you can see, I'm showing the wool. And now I'm going to show you what the felting needles look like. As you can see, there are these uh, barbs on the ends of the needles that are hopefully going to tangle the wool together so it makes a solid piece. I'm just getting ready to separate some of this gray wool from the body so we can hopefully have some arms and ears. Alright, now let's get started on this. I'm just going to start taking the needle and stabbing it into the wool trying to get a base shape. Um, hopefully we can get it as round as possible. The first step is to try to make a round base that's going to be our main body for Totoro. Right after just a few minutes, you can see it's already starting to tangle up pretty nicely. I'm just going to keep repeating this until I can get all these uh, more loose ends into the body. Alright, as you can see, I think this is as good as it's going to get for now. Um, it doesn't look as round as I would like in the picture, but we'll still work with this. Now that the body's done, I'm going to take some of the white wool that was included in this kit, and we are going to make two eyes. I'm just wadding it up to hopefully make the shaping a lot easier this time. Now, as a warning to anyone that's wanting to try this as a hobby, get some kind of thimbles or finger coverings. Um, I did nick myself several times with this needle. It's very easy to do, especially on these really small pieces. Here's one of the finished eyes. It actually looks really good. I'm just going to try to find a way to stick him on to the body. And then whenever we have it ready, we will actually stab with the needle and it will attach itself to the body. This part was actually a little bit harder than I thought. Um, it might even say in the instructions to not tangle 
the eyes is hard because it does make it a little bit more difficult to push the white wool into the main body when it's this tight already. I forgot to hit record when I put down the belly, but it was more or less the same idea, giving it some shape and then stabbing it into the main body. I'm just kind of showing you for comparison. Um, it doesn't look quite like what we're hoping for, but it's no big deal. This is our first time after all. I think this is already a pretty rewarding hobby. As you can see, there's really no way to fix the placement of the eyes. Um, there might be a way to reverse some mistakes on these projects, but I'm really not sure. It'll just take some more research to get look into this. I already got the first pupil in. It was the same idea. And there's the finished eyes. He looks angry. I'm not too sure what I can do to fix it. I have add some more black for his nose. And now I am just going through and adding the detail to his belly. Totoro has these three little gray, almost like chevron shapes in his belly. Um, I'm not quite getting the shape I want, but the little dots do enough for it to still look familiar. laying very thin pieces now. Um, it's kind of deceiving how much detail actually shows up um, with the wool. You do not need very much at all, especially for these really small projects. Alright, there's his stomach finished. Alright, as you can see, I've started up on what's going to hopefully be the ears. The ears are very tiny, so we have to be kind of precise with it. Um, I'm trying to work with it. It's really difficult. It's kind of getting stuck into the styrofoam. Um, there's not too much I can do to really hold it and stab it at the same time because it's so small. I'm just kind of looking to see if that is the correct shape we want. Now I'm going to try to make its twin. Okay, so this is actually not looking as bad as I thought it was. Um, we're just... He kind of has a bulge on his forehead that I might fix later, but let's just keep on going to the next step. We are adding arms. I'm just wadding up the wool as usual, and then stabbing it into shape. Just seeing how it's going to lay on the body. And then I'm going to carefully take my needle and start stabbing it in.
right, this is what we have for now. Um, we just have one more step, which is the green wool. What we are going to start doing is adding a green hat that's supposed to look like a leaf on top of his head. While I am finishing the rest of this, I just want to tell you guys that I think felting could be a really fun hobby to get into. Clearly my first try didn't go as planned, but I think with enough practice I think you could really reach the level that that kit was actually wanting you to achieve. Um, if you're interested in felting, you can go online or you can go to a hobby store and you can find materials to start doing this. quick reminder that the Anime and Manga Club does post every fourth Saturday of the month. Hopefully those videos will turn into meetings. Um, this is a brand new year. Let's hope for the best. Now here is our final product. Alright, here's the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, up next will be the Pokemon bookmark.